So I've been looking at all these different countries, see, seeing how we all connected here in the world, just separated by some water. It's not so bad, but you know, get all get together and just get along. It'd be great, cause we all people, you know. So, I've been looking at this map, see, and I seen all these places here that I never even knew existed, names I never read before. See, for example, I was looking up around here. I know these are my states. Of course, I don't know them all that well. Well, I should. Anyway, I was following along, reading some of these things. And I was going up and up. I was looking for Prince Edward Island. Anyhow, you know, and Green Gables. But, anyway, I come up here, and I see these names like, uh, like, uh, let's see, Washakani Shingy in uh, Canada. And, um, then, see, I found, uh, over here, Happy Valley, Goose Bay. They happy there because, uh, because they got gooses, geese there. That's why it's called Happy Valley. In Coo that's what I figured, anyway. In Kuzwak, they happy because they got Kuzwak. And Conky Kachonk Chonky, because they got Conky Kachonk Chonky. Yeah, that's why they happy. They happy people out there. I'm telling you. But then the most exciting thing was I found up there Saskatchewan. You know, Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. I, I don't always say it the same way every time. It seems like every time I read it, there's another letter in there that wasn't there before. It's a little scary, you know, when that happens. They say yeah, I was playing tricks with you, but I'm not sure about that. I think they change the name every time so that people don't know about them. Because, see, I don't know about these places. I don't know about them. They're all new to me. And then I was going around here, and I decided to go look at China for a little bit, too. And I found Chong. Xing Zhang, Bing Zhang, Chong Cheek, Guangzhou. Really amazing places I never knew of. I don't really know how to say them, so I apologize. I don't mean to offend anybody. But you know, just the best I can do. Since I'm from all the way out here in the big USA. Of course, don't look so big when I look at all this. So, yeah, but I just want to share with you these places I'm discovering and I knew about and a little bit of things I'm learning. I also found this place called Lake Mastacini. I don't know what that means, but it sure sounds interesting. must be Misty because it says Mastacini. That's what I figure. So, yeah. And we got a lot of great places up there in Alaska. I was reading Porcupine and uh, Mr. Dunarak. Oh, sorry, not Mr. Dunarak. Mount, Mount Dunarak. Yeah, that sure makes a difference. I was beginning to think there's a place out there called Mr. Dunarak, and that just ain't normal, you know. It just ain't normal. So, anyways, and I didn't know we were so close to Russia, so that's good to know. Anyways, yeah, I think it's good to know. I just think it's good to know we're close to everybody, and everybody's close to us. So that's it for now. Just wanted to teach you, give you an update on what I've been doing, what I've been finding out here. It sure is pretty interesting to me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Get your maps out, find all those places you never heard of before, start learning the names. You'll find some interesting history just in the names themselves. So uh, for now, i let you go, and I'm wishing you a happy rest of the day or evening, whichever one it is for you. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Have a great day, whichever it is. Bye-bye now.